Welcome to INFS 1010, Section W94, Computer Applications. I am Julia Bell, Associate Professor of Computer Science at Walter State Community College, and I will be your professor for this course. You will learn about Microsoft Office 2013, Windows, and a few cool apps to make your college studies more productive. Here's a picture of me and my mother. Uh, she visited my classroom last February for the first time, and she passed away suddenly this year. A little bit of housekeeping. This Friday, January the 23rd, from 9 to 2 p.m. on the Morristown campus in room Tech 264, we're going to have an open lab time for you to bring in your laptop and get some help setting up my IT lab and getting started with my IT lab and ask any questions that you might have. Again, this is optional from 9 to 2. Just drop in anytime and let's help get you started. Again, not mandatory, but optional. I want to go to eLearn and show you some of the navigation within this course. Here's the course in eLearn. The first thing I can tell you is look at the news items. I will post reminders here in this section, and it's a great place to look. My name is Julia Bell. Here is my office location, my office phone number, the best way to contact me is in eLearn via the email. If you're not sure how to send email in eLearn, course tools and class list is the best way. Select the person you want. You would click mine. There's my little avatar. And click email. It fills in my name. You give it a subject. And come down here and type in your message. If you need to send me a, a file you upload it otherwise click send and I will get your email and you will get a confirmation that you received the email as well back to here is the news items you notice we've got several things mentioned here getting you started off right for the semester learn about what course materials are required for this course in my course I'm using my IT lab and the paper book You'll be very glad you did get that paper book once we get started, especially in PowerPoint, Word, and Excel, because we're going to be using things from that book and actually creating documents. Before you get started, you need to talk about browsers. Chrome or Firefox are the preferred browsers. Don't try to use Internet Explorer or Safari. Internet Explorer has known issues. I have used Safari and it'll go fine and then it has a problem. So Firefox or Chrome are the two browsers you need to use to access my IT lab. Here's a short video that walks you through pop-up blockers. A pop-up blocker is something that when you click on a link to go to another website and it never goes and you don't know why. There's usually a small message that appears up here in the top right hand corner of Firefox that'll tell you that. But if you're not looking for it, or if you're unfamiliar, you may just be frustrated and wonder why you can't get your work done. You need to verify that your system meets the minimum requirements. So you could click this link and get that done. There's also some setup requirements. Once we get into my IT lab, we'll walk you through some more of the same thing. Here's a little video on how to set up your account. It's short and very much to the point. If you already have a Pearson account, then you don't want to create another one. You want to use the same one that you have. Uh, you can use the same username and password. For instance, if you had a My Math Lab or a My Reading Lab, you can still use those. However, you will still need to purchase access to My IT Lab. Having the other Math Lab and different accounts does not guarantee that you have access to the correct thing, which is My IT Lab. So you will still need to purchase that. Down at the bottom of this, there is a link that will help you set that up. Do keep in mind, there is temporary 14-day only account access. You must purchase access before that dies off because you will miss out on turning in assignments. So don't let that pass you by. If you need to use it for the first few days to get your orientation materials done, fine. But after that, purchase it. And I personally recommend that you also purchase the paper book that they sell at the bookstore. After you have it set up, you're ready to go into it and click. I need to remind you about this. 
item number nine. Completing the orientation module that's within my IT lab counts toward your grade, and it is used for initial attendance reporting, especially important for financial aid. The due date to get these things done is the 27th of January. Past that date and you will be counted as absent for financial aid. Although the majority of your coursework is going to be completed in my IT lab, we're still going to use eLearn for email, your final grades, and maybe some content. In my case, it's just going to be the syllabus and office hours I will list there. If you're ready to go, you can click this link, Pearson's My Lab and Mastering, to go and set up your account. When I click the link, it's not going to give me the same options because my account is already set up and it logs me in. This saves you from having to log in a second time, but I find that it does have lag or is slow. Let me close this out. I want to show you how to get to my IT lab after you've originally set it up without going through eLearn. MyITLab.com, click on sign in and Office 2013. Mine is already logged in because I closed that out and didn't uh, didn't log out. But it may ask you to type in your username and your password. Here is your class. Little notifications area that we can put in there. I'm going to go to the materials for our course. Here's our orientation and then in the pretest. The orientation items count for 5% of your final grade. So don't let that opportunity pass you by. The pretest do not count toward your final grade, but are required by our department for accreditation purposes. So please complete those. After these things are done, beginning next week, the rest of the content will come up. First out would be PowerPoint and then Word, Windows, Concepts, and then Excel. I'm going to show you the orientation module. Here are the things that you'll need to do for this orientation module. Set up your computer. Here is a link and it will walk you through the home setup. Browser tune-ups for a PC, browser tune-ups for your Mac, and gives you a little tutorial on how to do that. You can use the red arrows to go back a level. Here's where you turn in something and prove to me that you have done. Click here and it says, you know, here's what I'm going to want. Take a screenshot of the browser tune-up icon on your desktop here and with it in progress here. When you get done, you're going to save it as last name underscore first name underscore wizard. If you don't know how to take a screenshot, that is not a problem. Here's a little video for 7 or if you're running Windows 8 or if you're using a Mac that you can actually do a screenshot. And these are very, very helpful. I'll show you the one for 8, for instance. This is Alan Shapiro. I'm going to close that. And he does a really great job of showing you how to take a screenshot. Keep in mind if you're using a smaller laptop, Yours may not be as easy to find where the print screen or system request key is. If so, if you finally find it usually top right hand corner somewhere and it's blue or another color, you're probably going to have to hold down an FN key, a function key. Those are usually located in the bottom left hand corner. They may have blue writing on them or maybe red, which means you've got to hold down that key plus the second key at the same time. When you get that done, you'll need to submit it. You browse on your computer, find the file. The file will appear here. Once it appears in this box, you click Add. Once that is done, you click Finish and Submit for Grading. At that point, you would get a message at the top that says it has been successfully submitted. If you don't get that message, it didn't go. Here is a nice little tutorial on how to use a Dropbox. Exactly the steps I just walked through. Browse, find the file. The file name appears here. Click Add and then finish and submit for grading. Close this. I'll leave that page. Uh, here is the call or the chat number for Pearson in case you need help if their product is having an issue or may, you may think it's down or something. Here is a second copy of the syllabus. There is also a quiz on the syllabus. I'll give you a little hint. One of the questions from the quiz asks when the last day to drop a course is. Do read that syllabus, kind of go through that. It's got a lot of good information. Again, my office phone number, where my office is at, who, who your instructor is, what things are required, description of the course, that kind of thing, testing procedures. Here's one thing I'd like to make you very aware of, cheating. I don't look favorably on this at all, and neither does the college. 
if you and another student turn in the same file, means one student did it and the second one also turned it in, both will receive a grade of zero. If this continues, if you've got another occurrence after the first zero, it is grounds for an F in the course. Please make sure that you submit your own work. And do keep in mind, files submitted by students in different sections of this course are also cross-checked for plagiarism and cheating because we take it very seriously. Drop deadline, some other things. If you need tutoring, the Office of Student Tutoring in the Student Admission Building, they will be wonderfully glad to help you. So please don't hesitate to ask. And here's some of the other things that you'll need to go through. And finally, post a discussion item about yourself. You can give as little or as much information as you feel comfortable with. Again, this is shared only within the uh, 27 people that are in this class. You do really great this semester. I look forward to working with you.